The Kariba Dam is a concrete arch dam constructed across the Zambezi River on the border between Zambia and Zimbabwe. Built between 1956 and 1959, the dam created Lake Kariba, which is the largest man-made lake in the world by reservoir storage capacity. It is central to regional energy security and economic development, providing Zambia and Zimbabwe with 2,130 megawatts of power generation capacity. The dam is 128 meters high and has a crest length of 617 meters. It has six sluice gates that are currently undergoing refurbishment. When water levels in the lake are too high during incoming floods, water is discharged from the lake onto the downstream side of the Kariba Dam through these gates. Over the years, the force of the falling water from the sluice gates has eroded the natural rock floor, creating a plunge pool downstream of the dam, which is approximately 80 meters deep. With time, the erosion caused during a spilling episode has potential to undercut the dam foundation and compromise the structural integrity of the dam, putting in danger the lives of more than 3 million people living downstream. Through a new strategy by the European Union, branded as Global Gateway, whose purpose is to boost smart, clean and secure links in digital, energy and transport sectors, and to strengthen health, education and research systems across the world, the EU is working with cooperating partners to ensure the stability of the Kariba Dam. Thus, the Zambezi River Authority, with a grant from the European Union, Sweden, and a loan from the African Development Bank and the World Bank, is working to prevent this through reshaping of the plunge pool, making it wider. This will reduce the pressure that water spilling into the plunge pool exerts on its base and will limit further erosion. This is the first project of its kind in the world. The first step was to create a dry working area in and around the plunge pool by constructing a coffer dam. Eight large prefabricated pillars called piers were installed in the water across the river with the help of skilled divers. Prefabricated metal gates were then placed in between the piers, creating a solid watertight wall called a coffer dam. This coffer dam was completed in June 2022. The water in the plunge pool is continuously pumped out into the river to create and maintain a dry and safe working area. The next step is widening the plunge pool. Eight meter high steps, similar to those of an open cast mine, are slowly being created by controlled blasting. More than 300,000 cubic meters of rock will be removed from the plunge pool and transported to a dump site area. Where necessary, the new walls of the plunge pool are being stabilized with anchor bars wire mesh or sprayed concrete. Finally, the areas where the rock is weaker will be reinforced. Once the work in the plunge pool is completed, the metal gates in the cofferdam, called stop logs, will be gradually lifted to allow water from the river to slowly fill up the plunge pool again. This new shape of the plunge pool will allow the smooth flow of water in and out of it thereby reducing the possibility of erosion taking place in the direction of the dam wall and ensuring the safety of the structure and therefore the continuity and reliability of power supply as well as the protection of the millions of people who live downstream. All these works started in 2017 and should be completed in 2024. Thanks to the construction of a coffer dam, Normal activities in the lake and downstream such as fishing and tourism are not affected by these works. Electricity generation is not affected either. The Zambezi River Authority lives up to its values, one of which is safety. No fatalities have been recorded during this process due to the maximum safety measures being adhered to. Any spilling from the dam that may occur after the completion of the project will be controlled to ensure that floods will not occur downstream. As a mitigation measure, the Zambezi River Authority has an emergency preparedness plan in place to mitigate loss of lives and livelihoods if downstream flooding is imminent. The reshaping of the plunge pool is made possible through the support of the European Union under the Global Gateway Strategy. 
This video is produced by NEARS with support from the EU. The content and opinions expressed herein are those of the authors and do not necessarily reflect the position or policy of the EU, Government of the Republic of Zambia, or Global Gateway, and no official endorsement should be inferred.